there my name's Vanessa and as you can see today I'm going through some face masks now I have two here and I got them both at Walmart this one is a peel off mask it has volcanic ash and this one is a pore purifying clay mask and cleanser and this one has charcoal so we got volcanic ash and a little bit of charcoal and personally I prefer the peel offs I like the ease of being able to just peel it right off and it looks really cool I know we used to do it when we were younger peel it off like it was our skin so a little creepy but that's what we did and um, so some of the things that I look for when I'm getting a mask uh, and a cleanser is the smell I'm not too crazy on the peppermint a lot there's a lot of peppermint and eucalyptus so I'm not big on those but I do look for the smell I look for how it's going to work. That's why I like the peel off mask because I can see once I peel it off the impurities and the blackheads and any whiteheads that it's pulled off. And I like that. And then also the tingle. I like the tingle. So I like to get masks that I can feel it because I know it's working and it feels amazing. My pores, they feel fantastic. So I think um, this one I have just a sample. This one's just a dollar and a uh, dollar something and this one is about five I got them both at Walmart and um, I'm gonna do this uh, peel off mask first just gonna jump right in here now I have used these before and I do like them and I like them for different reasons so I'm gonna let you see it before I open it not hard now this one it looks crazy because it's straight black so they put a good amount in this pouch and what you want to do is of course you want to make sure your face is clean so I've already washed my face and um this is crazy all right so gonna start putting it on so It looks insane. I'm definitely going to make sure I get on my nose. I know that's where I get blackheads. and Some people get a lot on their, their forehead. I don't know. I get some on my lips. I don't know if that happens to anyone. I have some like right around the edge of my lips but you don't want to put this too close to your mouth I did that last time it does not taste good once it hits your lips just a little word of advice they don't taste too good so try and keep away from your mouth and too close from your eyes especially when they have that peppermint smell to it and it really uh you can really feel it in your eyes so put it on the forehead here. I'm gonna watch my headband. I wore the headband so it keep the hair out of my face a little. So here we have the last bit. Let me put it on my nose. Now um, on average it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for your face mask to dry. And I've looked around and pretty much Pretty much all of them say 15 to 20 minutes. I did a, I did one with like a white green tea or like a gray tea or whatnot. And um, let me let you see this here. So they say take about 15 to 20 minutes to do these. So go on and sit back, relax. 
and we'll just let this dry. Sometimes I'll sit in front of the fan, it kind of peps up the um, speed time. So it's feeling pretty stiff now, so it should all be dry. Did a little weird spot there on my forehead, but it's okay. Um, so you can just start, you can just start peeling or you can scrunch your face up. <laughs> All right. So, see it's come loose around my mouth. So we're just going to start peeling this right off. That's why I like these peel off masks. And I'm not going to I'm not going to make it cute. I'm not going to try and keep the mask intact in one perfect shape. Just gonna take it off. So the one thing I've noticed about um about this one is that there's really no tingle to it. There's no tingle. But I'm just gonna keep peeling it off. It didn't take too long to dry. But what I do like about this one is you can look let me show you the nose part it's usually where my black is all right so still a little wet a little bit wet I mean, it's crazy looking. Look at that. All right, so let's get serious. Let's peel this off. Should all be dry now. It always looks prettier when you're not doing it for the camera. I feel like it's taking forever now. I usually just whoop, whoop, right off. All right. So, for film purposes, I just pulled it off. And when you sit there and you look into it, you can really see... Oh, I bunched up too much. But when you look into yours, you can really see all of the impurities that have come right off and that's why I like that mask so much because I can see what it's done so next we're moving on to this one and this is the cleanser mask with the charcoal so we're gonna put this on this one's gray and it has a good smell to it, it smells clean if that makes sense it's not minty but it just smells like Something you just got out of the shower and ooh. and this one has tingle. This one has a really good tingle to it. And this one is a gray color as opposed to the black mask. And like I said, this one's a rinse off mask. So nothing wrong with that. I just like to be able to peel it off because I like how it looks. That's just me. Really? I'm gonna clip it on our nose. That's where I have a lot of trouble. Uh, my trouble area is my nose, and up here, kind of here, get some blackheads. I know some people get on their foreheads, on their cheeks. When I was a teenager, I had it on my cheeks a lot. So, and I'm feeling the tingle on this already. It really feels amazing. It smells so good, and it wasn't expensive, so in my book, that's a win. If this was a peel-off mask, this would be perfect. It would be perfect. Woo! 
Yeah, I, I, I smell it. I smell the tingle. You can smell the tingle on this one. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit. So these are two of the masks that I like to use. And like I said, I got them both at Walmart. So we just let this one sit here and dry. And I do like the feeling I'm getting from this. So there's a lot of masks out there, but I definitely have to recommend these two. The Volcanic Ash. And it says this one is for men. So you men out there, don't be afraid to get your face done. You have, we all have impurities on our face. We all have mud and dirt in the environment that we go into. And so men, do not be afraid to do your face. And then this one as well. And this one's by Garnier. So thank you, Garnier. I really like this one. Skin Active. And, um... It also says this is oil free, removes surface impurities, and it draws out deep impurities. So, and the directions for this are easy. You wet your hands. Of course, you always wash your face. You always wash your face before you do these. And then you wet your hands, you massage it into your face, and then you rinse it off. And this one is let it dry for five minutes and then rinse. So I guess it doesn't have to completely dry like our peel off mask do, but um, thank you for watching. I hope you go out and get these. Like I said, they are amazing face mask. This one has a great tingle, great smell, and it's easy to use. This face mask I love because if you have some really strong blackheads and you really want to see that they're removed that one is perfect for it because you'll be able to see it so um thank you for watching my video subscribe to my my page my channel and hit me up